welcome to my new video. My name is Björn Friedrich and today I am here to show you the strongest grip you can use for the inside helo. And by strongest grip I mean really the grip that will allow you to immediately feel um, the, the ACL or I don't know how it's called ACL, ACL in English. You know what I mean. The, the, the ligaments here in the in the knee. You can really feel them with that grip. It's by far the most powerful grip you can use for the inside heel look and I will explain you um, why that is the case. You can start from 50-50, 4-11, doesn't matter. We are going to 50-50 and um, you see usually when you do the inside heel look there are many variations of Gripping, you know, basically you can control in here, grab and then turn. And um, all these grips here are okay, but if you have someone with a decent flexibility, you know, when I go here, I don't feel anything, even if, I, if I'm putting really pressure in. Yeah, something here, but there is a lot of diff in the knee. There's not an immediate threat of hurting her. Why? Because the, the connection between her foot and my body is not as tight um, as it could be, you know. So by doing this, you know, I mean, one, you know, if I turn this way, it will work, but there is a lot of play. What I like to do is, instead of attacking with this grip here, here or here, I use a direct connection. I grab her with my hand around the heel. You know, I grab completely the heel and the key point here is I put her um, big toe right up in my armpit, you see? And what I'm doing is, you see, I'm twisting, I'm doing basically a rolling motion with my leg and bring this here. From here, I catch, and now it's over, it's done. You know, I want, you know, it's, there's no space anymore. If I bridge out, I would hurt her knee. You know, the key point is to really take away space between the foot and between my body. And what is also important, to maximize the lever here. In other words, to to finish, to ro rotate the knee, the, the most efficient way is to do it here and here. Because you're using the foot as a lever to turn the lower leg. You know, so if you twist here only, you see, very hard to get something. But if you're able to get here and here, you get a much better um, effect on the knee. So by doing this just like this, you know, her toe is somewhere, her heel is somewhere, but there's a lot of play <coughs> when I twist, you see. When I grab and put the toe right up here in my armpit and her heel up, in, her heel is directly connected with my hand. That means that there's a very strong connection on the foot here, very, very strong, and very, very strong here. From here, it's an easy thing to break. You see, last time. Don't, or I shouldn't say don't, but if you do the basic way of just controlling the heel, you get some good bite on the heel, you can twist, but there is not the most efficient way of using the level of the foot because you mainly twisting from here by using this hand grabbing and bringing this up in my armpit closing my armpit you see closing my armpit and now checking it here it's there's no space at all you see I have 100% connection with her toe and I have 100% connection by pulling it backward you know now it's Everything I do with my body 
is immediately going to the knee. While here, there is a lot of sp play, a lot of space when I do something, you know? It takes much more distance to affect the knee. Instead of high, up in the armpit, tight, pinch, pull it back, get it here, and break. This is, in my opinion, the most powerful way of getting the heel hook, the inside heel hook, um, to getting a tap from there, you know. So um, be careful, you know. She is very flexible, you know, but if you do this with strong muscular guys, you know, it's not much play. When you roll, don't go like, you know, grab and roll or grab and pull. This is dangerous. Just catch it and release it because this is really, really bad for the knees. And uh, even in practice, you will feel that, you know, this hurts a lot. So uh, I hope you like my video. If you like my video, please buy all my DVDs, subscribe my channel, um, share my videos, and help me to get more followers. And uh, yeah, hope to see you next week again. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can show you next week.